And a Fox News alert right now because brand new reaction from the White House today to those scathing claims by former Defense Secretary Robert Gates. The White House pushing back today against the explosive tell-all book. It's been making waves in Washington since experts first excerpts that is first leaked earlier this week. So in his memoir, Gates offers harsh criticism of his former colleagues, particularly Vice President Joe Biden. White House going into defense mode. Jay Carney fielding questions about it again at today's daily briefing. Chief White House correspondent Ed Henry just out of that briefing. All right, what did he say today? Well, good to see you, Gretchen. Uh, what's new today is Jay Carney says there's been no phone conversation uh, between the president and Secretary Gates about the book. He said they did have a phone call over the weekend after Secretary Gates, unfortunately, uh, I believe he had slipped and he hurt his neck and the president just wished him well, uh, perhaps knew the book was coming out, but Jay said he had no readout on whether they discussed the details uh, of all of this. They clearly want to turn the page because there's, what's really new today is that Speaker John Boehner is pivoting sort of off of this book uh, and the allegations about the president's leadership that come out of the book uh, and specifically jumping on all of these headlines coming out of Iraq, a uh, new round of violence just spiraling out of control. Speaker John Boehner, tough talk today, charging that the president uh, is now indifferent to what's happening in Iraq, is losing the security gains uh, that America had, had, had fought for so uh, hard and long for. Uh, he also, Speaker Boehner, said that the president had outsourced, in his words, Iraqi policy to Vice President Biden. Uh, Jay Carney got a question about that and pushed back on Boehner. Take a listen. Uh, I don't think the book had come out. So, and he hadn't heard about it yet, the details. I, I just don't know. Yeah, I mean, certainly not the details. We had not, nobody, as I said yesterday, we got the, uh, the, I got the book the night before. So, uh, but we had seen some reports, uh, the, the earlier reports about it. But, but again, his view is the one I repeated uh, several times yesterday and just repeated again. Uh, but I don't, you know, I don't know, uh, I don't know that they have, I don't believe they have talked uh, in the last few days since they talked last, and uh, I'm not sure when they'll talk again. So that it was him reacting to the book. But Jay Carney went on to say uh, and push back on John Boehner by saying, look, if Republicans like John Boehner want to send more U.S. troops back to Iraq, they should be more clear about saying that. Jay Carney saying the president made no bones about it as a candidate for office the first time uh, and throughout his presidency that he was going to wind down the war in Iraq uh, and that even when there were tens of thousands of U.S. troops there, there was still sectarian violence. And so clearly the view from the White House here is they're not happy with the situation on the ground in Iraq, but they don't think it's wise to send troops back. Wow, so Gretchen. many issues. Okay, Ed Henry, live at the White House. Thank you Good so much. You.